The river's tent is broken. The last fingers of leaf clutch and sink into the wet bank. The wind crosses the brown land, unheard. The nymphs are departed. Sweet Thames, run softly till I end my song. The river bears no empty bottles, sandwich papers, silk handkerchiefs, cardboard boxes, cigarette ends, or other testimony of summer nights. The nymphs are departed. And their friends, the loitering heirs of city directors, departed, have left no addresses. By the waters of Lehman I sat down and wept. Sweet Thames, run softly till I end my song. Sweet Thames, run softly, for I speak not loud or long. But at my back in a cold blast I hear the rattle of bones, and chuckles spread from ear to ear. A rat crept softly through the vegetation, dragging its slimy belly on the bank, while I was fishing in the dull canal on a winter evening round behind the gaff's house, musing upon the king my brother's wreck, and on the king my father's death before him. White bodies naked on the low damp ground, and bones cast in a little low dry garret, rattled by the rat's foot only, year to year. But at my back, from time to time, I hear the sound of horns and motors, which shall bring Sweeney to Mrs. Porter in the spring. Oh, the moon shone bright on Mrs. Porter, and on her daughter. They wash their feet in soda water. Et au savoir d'enfant, chantant dans la coupole. Twit, twit, twit. Jug, 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 jug. So rudely forced. Terry Unreal city, under the brown fog of a winter noon. Mr. Eugenides, the Smyrna merchant, unshaven, with a pocket full of currents, CIF London, documents at sight, asked me in demotic French to luncheon at the Cannon Street Hotel, followed by a weekend at the Metropole. At the violet hour, when the eyes and back turn upward from the desk, when the human engine waits like a taxi, throbbing, waiting, I, Tiresias, though blind, throbbing between two lives, old man with wrinkled female breasts, can see at the violet hour, the evening hour that strives homeward and brings the sailor home from sea. The typist home at tea time clears her breakfast, lights her stove, and lays out food and tins. Out of the window perilously spread, her drying combinations touched by the sun's last rays on the divan are piled, at night her bed. Stockings, slippers, camisoles, and stays. I, Tiresias, old man with wrinkled dugs, perceived the scene and foretold the rest. I, too, awaited the expected guest. He, the young man carbuncular, arrives, a small house agent's clerk with one bold stare, one of the low on whom assurance sits as a silk hat on a Bradford millionaire. The time is now propitious, as he guesses, the meal is ended, she is bored and tired, endeavors to engage her in caresses, which still are unreproved, if undesired. Flushed and decided, he assaults at once, exploring hands encounter no defense. His vanity requires no response, and makes a welcome of indifference. And I, Tiresias, have for suffered all enacted on this same divan or bed. I, who have sat by Thebes below the wall and walked among the lowest of the dead, bestows one final patronizing kiss, and gropes his way, finding the stairs unlit. She turns and looks a moment in the glass, hardly aware of her departed lover. Her brain allows one half-formed thought to pass. Well, now that's done, and I'm glad it's over. When lovely woman stoops to folly and paces about her room again alone, she smooths her hair with automatic hand and puts a record on the gramophone. This music crept by me upon the waters. And along the strand up Queen Victoria Street, oh city, city, I can sometimes hear beside a public bar in Lower Thames Street the pleasant whining of a mandolin and a clatter and a chatter from within where fishmen lounge at noon, where the walls of Magnus Martyr hold inexplicable splendor of Ionian white and gold. The river sweats, oil and tar, the barges drift with the turning tide, red sails, 
wide to leeward swing on the heavy spar. The barges wash drifting logs down Greenwich Reach past the Isle of Dogs. Wa-la-la-la-la, la 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 wa la 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 Elizabeth and Leicester, beating oars. The stern was formed a gilded shell, red and gold. The brisk swell rippled both shores. Southwest wind carried downstream the peal of bells, white towers. wa la 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 wa la 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 Trams and dusty trees. Highbury bore me. Richmond and Kew undid me. By Richmond I raised my knees supine on the floor of a narrow canoe. My feet are at Moorgate, and my heart under my feet. After the event he wept. He promised a new start. I made no comment. What should I resent? On Margate sands I can connect nothing with nothing. The broken fingernails of dirty hands. My people, humble people who expect nothing. La, la. To Carthage then I came. Burning, 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 burning. O Lord, thou pluckest me out. O Lord, thou pluckest. Burning.